Good morning. How is everyone doing today? I'm just going to turn this down just a little bit. So you can kind of still hear it, but I think I should be good to go over it. So we're starting in. We're getting ready. We're going to be building today. As you can see my layout. We're going to be building... The, let me, let me, that guy right there, the figure rise standard Magnamon. Not the Amplified, there isn't one, but I think it's going to be a decent build. I got everything kind of laid out here. You can kind of see the instructions a little bit. It's going to take me a little bit to kind of figure out how I want to do these, but I've got a lot of model kits I need to build, so I think... I'm going to start doing it on here. I'm going to put the VOD up on my YouTube channel so you can find it there. And yeah, hopefully the dog, right now the dog is just relaxing, being a sweet bumbus. But yeah, we're going to be getting into this. Okay, so I need B2 to start. And yeah, it's been... uh been a while since I uh, built one of these on stream. I think the last one I built was the... Oh god, what was it? The entry grade RX-78-2. The granddaddy, I think is what it was. So, I think... I enjoyed it then, and I think... Uh have to get into the habit of doing it again so it's gonna take me a while because I am gonna be cleaning this up very well as I go along this is really one of those slow play sort of building streams so I know it's not gonna look like much but we can hang out and chat in the meantime So, yeah. I have to say, Magnemon was one of my favorite Digimon growing up. Uh, I, I kind of loved the Vmon line, which was kind of an updated... I know it wasn't an updated Agumon line, but it was kind of like the replacement for Agumon. In the new N02, which is just cool, and with the uh, with the the armor digivolutions were really cool. I don't like Ragemon. He, he was he was okay, um, but you know, Flamedramon and Magdramon. I'm kind of really disappointed in the show that they did drop the armor Digimon once they could Digivolve. So, because I know in Zero One, when they still got their Digivolutions, they still had the ability to go in and go to those other Digivolutions that they passed over and they went higher but the armor digivolutions they just kind of stopped using it all and i think that was a little bit of a little bit of a mistake especially when you got digimon as powerful as um magnamon when they got him They're basically like, oh yeah, here's Magnamon, and you're done. <coughs> we destroyed the tower, and you don't need to Dharma Digivolve anymore. You can actually go into Champions, and you're never going to have to use it again. It was kind of... It was, it was kind of disappointing. I would have liked to see them do it, and they might have, and I just can't remember, but... Yeah, that was... Uh, 
that was something that I wish was done maybe just a little bit better it's a small gripe for what was a super awesome show now that goes like this guy okay now the stickers where did I put those stickers out oh, there okay because I put Two goes on this one, they kind of match. Kind of nice that if you don't want to use the stickers, they kind of had the outline so you can panel line it and paint it up in the same way so you don't lose any of that which is kind of nice it also gives you a little bit to kind of ha have focus on what you're doing because i find stickers are always the biggest problem for me um now this is c14 We'll need to get a better setup, I think, because there's not too much light where I game, so I'm kind of just using my existing setup, so there's a little bit of a problem there, but we'll, we'll get there. This is a very test thing. You find also a good... Uh, playlist that's DMCA free. I'm just kind of grab one for tonight. Or this morning, I should say. And then I'm going to watch the Indy 500 tonight, hoping for Jimmy. I'm going to skip the, the F1 race. That's kind of a, a shit show. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And this just goes on like that. Oh no, it goes the other way. Misa thumb. And then A one. There's a gold, which is the gold and just injected plastic, which I really dislike on kits, but, ah, god fucking damn it. Dropped that. <sighs> I think I'll have to grab an action base for this guy, because he just looks so cool. And his like flying poses. Actually, this uh, cleans up fairly well. You can't really see the knob, which is nice. Oh. oh, phone run off. Deal with that. Sorry about that. Okay, now this guy. Let's put on like that. Now I need Let's 
seven. trying to think before I was going to do this, what I was going to do for panel lining. I think in like kind of like the anime style, I'm going to go with the hard black. I'll go for like a brown to mix it, but I'll go for a hard black. To pull it out a little bit more. I think that might look super cool on this kit so i think that's what i'm gonna do i've got my panel liners right here so they're basically just pens for anyone who doesn't know oh, a little Fine tip marker paint pen thing. Just kind of put into the crevices. You can wipe them away. Wipe away the excess. If you mess it up, it'll Oh yeah, that looks real nice. Okay, so that goes forward into that. And that gets placed over Here's like that, which that looks super good. Not sure if you can kind of see. And then the back panel lining on that really makes it stand out, which is nice. Now I need this guy to pull out this white piece. I might just have to trim this down a little bit smaller before I take my knife. There we go. What about these? Oh yeah, these are small enough. Okay, there we go. Some of the gates are real, not real smooth. Some of them aren't, but that's that's molding for you. If these are all done plastic and or yeah, plastic injection, which they are modular at some points too, which is really interesting. So it's a it's a really cool design. Or some of the kit is actually mod or some of the molds are modular. This blue actually doesn't mark that bad, which is gonna look real nice. Once this kit's fully completed. This is the double ball joint in the head. Down and up. Not much up, but a good chunk down. <sighs> and then I will pull out 
these. I can pull that because that's. There's two and three. Yeah. Three goes. And I'm looking at the kit. That marked a little much. I don't even necessarily if it marked or just the gold plastic. This was three. I'm looking at it, it gets put in. right yeah okay Put that there for you guys to kind of see I need a one thing I did realize is I'm gonna need a better camera for when I do this because right now I'm focused above like my focus doesn't really reach all the way down to the, the table here but it can catch what I'm working on So, yeah, it's, it's what I'm going to be working on futures, because I do have a lot of cool kits. I've got, uh, I've got a titanium new Gundam I need to build, that's going to be a long process. I've got a clear and titanium vision, ver, uh, version of the um, real grade Zazabi. Whoop. So that's the head right there. Uh, so that's the head. It looks looks really nice. Kind of really like this. Okay, we're getting on to the body. <sighs> okay, C five which is this guy right here. Chop that real close, because that won't matter. I really do like kids that are very good at hiding the numerics and Bandai's been getting very good and even on the the really easy kits from figuring out how they want to hide the nub marks I think he's off because they're the <sighs> um The rubber pieces, I forget what they're called. They're they're not they're a rubber material to help with the joints, to hold the joints in a little bit better. It's nice that they did them in the blue. A lot of the times you get them in the the grey. Get them in a gray, and if you're dealing with a white Gundam, the blue really, or the gray really clashes with like the white of the torso or stuff like that. Whatever they're, whatever they're in, you can really tell it when you're posing the arm when it moves a little bit when it comes out, and you can see it. And it just 
it kind of breaks the immersion, but this looks really nice. Some of this music is actually kind of slapping. Um, and this is symmetrical, so this just goes... I just need to look at the instructions just a little bit better. Ah, no, I did it wrong. Couldn't really see it, so it's... These are backwards. I thought I had it backwards. And this goes there and I turn it. So that a 16, this guy right here. Okay, 16 is the front. So let's clean it up first. Let's trim it just a little bit farther. Just to make it a little bit nicer to hide the knob a little bit better doing it this way. So that's really what you want, when, or at least what I want. I don't want to see it's enough. I want it to look quite nice when I do this. So. And then again, we'll get the black right here. looks really nice. I know you can't really see it right now, but yeah, that black just kind of peeks out right there. Not really much in the shoulder, but okay, pop that out. Okay, and seventeen. One thing I do like doing with kits, especially because I know like the tor. This is the torso. So as soon as I'm done putting this on and I build the the stomach ch section, like this is just the chest. I know the head goes onto it. So I do like assembling parts of the body as I make them. In, in the instructions, normally they have kind of do a little bit of a look ahead to see what they want. I won't cut off free clean. Even for me. There we go on that one. And there's a lot of design on this guy, on the back of this one. Which looks really nice.
are. Had to get it right in there, but it's working. Need a little bit more in this one. Uh, the lore, the lore behind this guy is actually sick. All the golden knights, like they they went all out on zero two. Like I don't think they ever showed Omnimon in zero two. I don't think they did, but they showed Paladin Mon. Or no, they didn't show Paladin Mon. They had Imperial Dramon. They had oh, they had. They had a lot of good Digimon in Zero Two. Black War Greymon being one of, if not the most tragic anime character. That 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 character spoke to me on some levels. In, in Black War Greymon, like War Greymon, design wise, is one of the coolest Digimon to me. And then Black War Greymon taking that just one step farther and being a cool ass character. Wow, that was. So, as you can see. So I just did on that one. All that panel lining in a nice black. It's gonna, it really stands out once you have it all together. And then the head is gonna fit on like that. There we go with that. Now I gotta make his stomach. And I just know that this piece is gonna be needed, so I'm pulling it out now. So it's it's going pretty good. I'm really enjoying this kit. The the build so far is I know I'm fully built the chest and the head, but it's it's a it's relatively engaging right now. It's I, I really this is the first um first figureized kit I've built. Um, I've done the amplified War Greymon, Metal Garurumon, um, Imperial Dramon. So I'll leave that right there. Now what do I need? I need another B5. So I've done the War Greymon, Metal Garurumon, Black War Greymon, Imperial Dramon. I do want to get the Beelzemon. I'm not sure if I want to get the Paladin mode for Imperial Dramon. That one's... Uh, I don't know. The store that I go to, they do have it. So, so we'll we'll get there. But I do have the War Greymon figureized kit. That if this goes over well, I'll probably build that maybe next week. This is actually the Pichu, which piano's great on it. 
Oh, that little... Yeah. So. Yeah, and then... I know I didn't stream it, but we are 5 out of 11 now. We got down Pantheon on Tuesday. We're severely cucked, and we didn't get any first sigils, but we did kill Skolex, so we do all have a shot at getting first sigils in our vault, which is really what I'm banking on. I might do a couple keys this afternoon. And in the afternoon, do... Okay, so let's see. This guy. There, and that goes down. And there. And like that. He has a okay. He does have a oh man, and that goes in like that. Pretty good ab crunch. Good extension. Breaks the sculpt a little bit, but that's how he's looking so far. Really nice, if you ask me. So I'm quite enjoying this. Okay. I'm going to do one quick thing here. Um, um, to do that after never mind okay now let's get into the arms okay and 15. <sighs> so, yeah, and now we're on to Lahuvum progress, which Lahuvum looks like it's going to be a fun time. It is getting fucking dumpstered on. Tuesday, it looks like. But I wonder... I don't... I don't know if the... Uh, if the... What's it called? Um, if the... 10% health nerf also affected the... Um, the ads, because if it was ten percent on the ads, like it's fucking free. I'm gonna, I'm not sending. I'm a convoke bot, but it is gonna be a lot easier to meet that damage check. Especially, you know, if we get like a first sigil or two. The worst part is gonna be if I get a first sigil and a. Uh,
get a first sigil and get uh, 278 IQD. Okay, is it? Oh, no, it's both. That's cool. So it locks in like that. Now I make it look like this. And then I'll get 16 and 25. I changed it up. I was getting a little like uh, it's time for it to end a little bit. I think. Okay, so. I probably do need another light source here if I'm going to be building a lot. There's not really a lot of good light here. But I got a snuggly puppy. Okay, so it's looking like I do this. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I do that and then this goes in here and that gets out of the way and then put that one in and then okay so now I need 17 Your blue actually is very good this time. Blue is one of those hard colors that it marks really easily. Gonna be figuring out. Okay, and that can go like that. Makes the bicep. And twenty-four. <sighs> what do we got? Canada is playing for gold. Nice. I do like this baseline. <sighs> okay. And this goes like that. Shoulder joint. Elbow bend. Now I need 14 and 15. I got a little bit of a Mega Man ZX feel from this. 
might also be Mega Man X. I haven't actually played all of the X series. I know I'm a dirty heathen of a Mega Man fan, but... I do have the ZX collection on it. I might, over the summer, get into start streaming a lot more, and that'll be one of the games that I'm going to get into. And I'm going to go in and get the... Um, I'm going to start speedrunning again, and I think I've... I think... Mitz and I are going to be doing... Uh, Going back in to get uh, no out of bounds. Scott Pilgrim co-op run. Right now we're only a minute off world record, so that'll be quite nice. And I think yeah. So what I'm gonna do on these ones. is all these hard lines like in the panels separating other panels I'm gonna do in the black I think what I'm gonna do is on the panels that look like other panels I'm gonna go with a go with the brown panel liner And just outline those like in here. Oh, it's probably hard to see what I'm doing. I apologize for that. I'm trying to whoop as I launch into my fingers. The nice thing is if, because it's the brown, if I don't like it, I want to go with the black. I can easily go with the black after. But I think... I think this will be a little bit better. I will need to see it together before I make my uh, final judgment. But. Whoop! I'm dropping everything right now. That looks really nice. That's gonna get plugged into there when it's done. I know you can't really see, but it's gonna go there. Um, now I need a eight. all situated <sighs> if I could figure out how to use my capture card I might do some extreme ratchet and clank or something like that but we'll we'll see we're we're getting into it I also might want to I'm mostly gonna start speed running um, blaster master zero 
That's gonna be a game I'm gonna start speedrunning soon. Which I have a very interesting history with that game that I'll explain in streams of it. I will be putting pictures of this up on my Twitter once it's all done. So you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Oh, seven. So you'll be able to see this kit in all its glory once I'm finished with it. I might pull off a kit from an action base that I have already. to get in some flying poses. Uh, that was a little bad. Uh, whatever, the, no one will see that. Again, a little bit more than I wanted to on that, but almost time, I think it's time for a new blade, I think as well, so. Okay, now, looking at this, if I Put it down. Goes like this. Okay, and then I need C8, the thrusters. This black is actually marking them a little bit more than I thought it would. The gray and the black like doesn't mark this one's coming out very light. Yeah, cut into it. Let me stress the plastic to cut it. It's looking good. If this also works well, I might also be doing some paint streams. And this goes down. And that's a press fit. That goes on like that. And that will go in like that. I got that right there. A little more centered. That's how it looks like right now. Not really a double bend, it's kind of just a single bend in the, the elbow, which isn't that bad, but. And then I've got to make the fist, which I would 9 and 13. I'm going to start putting a lot more content on YouTube as well. I think uh, I'm going to start streaming some keys. 
pushing a little bit higher. I think I want to get all 20s done. So I'm going to get some people together to do that. Start pushing some 20s. I know a couple people in my guild are trying to push... Uh, they're trying to push the... Um, the hero achievement trying to get top uh, 0.1 percent which good luck to them that's not something i care about doing i mean pushing 20 like there comes a point where i think it's just a little bit too much i'm not a huge fan of I'm not a huge fan of uh, dungeons. Like they're good. The dungeons that we have especially are nice. They're good, I'm just. And I, I think season four is gonna be real, real fun going back to lower Kara, upper Kara. I'm not sure how I feel about Mechagon. But yeah, BFA was a bit of a interesting time for me. If this sticker doesn't stay, I'm gonna just light it up and put it on. So yeah, that's yeah, that's the sticker I'm talking about. It was a kind of a yeah. I think if I if that sticker comes off, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and paint it. Oh, that goes forward and back. Oh, okay, that doesn't go side to side. So that's what we have so far. And I'm not sure if I'm liking the brown. I might. We'll see. I don't think I can go to the black. I can't go from the black to the brown. I'm quite enjoying this kit. It's very nice. Someone who likes Digimon, this is a rewarding experience to say the least. It's uh, definitely one that I think Digimon fans should get if they they're into model kits I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing but I'm just cleaning all this up it's it's tedious work I know some people like to to go ham and just paint it all up and other people just go in and clip, 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 and they don't care about nub marks. But I do I want I want this to look good? I want to take pride in it. So I think I do need a different solution also for my because this is. Not really working out. Like it's a good trade, don't get me wrong. It's the Citadel from the, the paint box one. But I think it could very much be better. So. There. 
and I'm basically doing the same thing that I was on the other side. And then this uh, upcoming, I think I'm actually gonna adjust this just a bit just so you can kind of see more of what I'm doing. Cause I think this gives you a little bit more, more of a better view of it. So I think, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be getting uh, streamed together on Thursday. Tonight I got dinner with my parents, so I think I probably won't stream tonight. Um, we'll, we'll see. I think uh, coming into next couple weeks gonna be kind of figuring out when I want to stream and what I want to stream um, because I do want to make sure that there is good content for you guys But it's also things that I enjoy and lets me still do the things that I enjoy. If these work out well, I'm definitely going to be doing some painting streams. Um, for any people who like Warhammer, um, I am getting, I am, I am in the heresy community and there is a heresy community in the city here it's it's fun i'm i'm so looking forward to second edition i've got my salamanders all planned out i have an idea for a allied detachment of space wolves that i think is going to be super fun to do up um I've already made a deal to get s what I need out of the starter box in the starter box after stream this morning I'm going to be heading out to pick up some shields for my army because as salamanders I get storm shields so I am doing those I'm getting those together, which is going to be super fun. Okay, so that's all on that. Now this is where I get this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be getting salamander, my salamanders together. Um, I've got 10 fire drakes, I've got 10 pyroclasts, which I do need more pyroclasts. Um, and then... After getting the pyroclasts, I'm going to be doing... Um, like I've already, yeah, I've, no, I'm, I'm all over the place, sorry. Because I've got the a deal to get the Spartan and the rule book out of the box set um, and then I've got the I need to buy a Kratos and the other the, the, the loyalist rules once I get the loyalist rules I can go up to um, go up to 25 actually can probably even go up to 3,000 points uh, 
as I just put a All I need to do is just put Vulcan and upgrade some some upgrades because he's, he's 465 so I need 35 points of upgrades which I think I can easily match 35 points of upgrades easily because all I'd have to do is you know put a multi melta on the Spartan um, drop a couple things drop some and make it a uh, a flare shield find 15 points put a flare shield If I was doing a Vulcan, I'd have to do a um, not even necessarily loyalist, but I'd have to do a n normal Praetor, and not a Cataphracti Praetor, because. Primarchs are bulky four, which won't let me fit him in the, well, it won't let me do a Praetor champion and Vulcan with 10 Terminators. 3,000 points because a lot of people are looking to probably play 3,000 points which I'm fine with bigger games as long as they're as long as they have flow I am fine with I'm perfectly fine with large games. I think large games are quite fun. They just have to have some sort of... They can't be too big. I, I played a... I think it was like 13,000 point game. It was like eight of us, four on four. And it took like two hours to get a turn done. I think that was a little bit extreme. But one on one, 3,000 points, I think that would be more than okay. So that would be very much a. very much a good. good one for it. Actually, I am going to just quickly take this whole album. just like this whole okay, they got like poker chill there's all the chill okay I'm gonna have to look into this but I found this part so that's that's nice MCA Pokemon music? I'm in. Oh. 
Yeah, I think depending on how it goes, I might do straight stream and alt runs on the weekends. We do alt runs on Saturday nights. Probably the hey, guess what? We're racing soon. Wait from PSN, which I will go on record and say they're the worst broadcaster for F1. Anything fun happening? Anything going on? Oh, I guess it's raining. As start procedure is suspended. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly text my dad. means it probably started while they were on the grid so they have the slick tires on now is that a1 or a2 okay so a2 so the other one is for the legs but yeah so for for the future for if i do uh um, anything that I'm going to put up on YouTube, I'm going to be using DMCA free music. So for, you know, world for, or not, not even, for progression rating, I'm going to be doing this type of stuff. If I'm just sticking around doing some keys, I'm going to be doing just normal, whatever I want to listen to music. Anything that I want to put up on my YouTube channel. And we'll, we'll see if I even want to do kill videos on my YouTube channel. I might. It's it's fun and it's a good, good look back of what I did and how I was thinking at the time. I have done kill videos in the past for... Um, Sanctum of Domination, I streamed Sylvanas Prague um, for for um, Nihilotha, I streamed a lot of Prague. Not sure, I can't remember what I did for um I can't remember what I did for Nathria. Nathria was a bit of a shit show. Whoa. Nathria is a real big shit show. I don't like to think about Nathria. But I think, I think right now I'm, I'm where I want to be. I don't want to go where I'm going to stay. 
surprising the guild doesn't die, because that's that's been my luck. Okay. Is it raining in Monaco? That's gonna make an interesting race. I keep a small eye on that. And Mr. Tired Bones. Just being all his sweetie self. Ever since I swapped to OBS from Streamlabs, my streams have been a lot more... A lot more, uh... Stable. Let's, let's say that. This guy. Let's run up like this. on like that. Now we have the arms and everything all situated, which I think this is starting to look really sick. Okay. Now, saying it wants me to build the legs next. Okay. Do I need two? I need. That was... Oh yeah, this is seeing wood. Uh, 
Oh, this actually looks like a nice album too. I'll fire that one. Seven and eight. Okay, now I need wool. Do this guy first, because this guy kind of... This guy kind of makes the other parts. I would do the other parts until I have this one together. Okay. Rain might actually make it worth watching, but... I'd rather be here building with you guys, so. Okay, now, um. 18. One of these small ass suckers. That goes in like that. And then that goes on top of it like that. And I take this guy here. Clean it up. And this guy gets put in like that and I get PC5 which is one of these guys and it'll fit in like this like that if you want to see that's that piece right there And this guy gets put on like so. Everyone's saying the FA has lost their minds. That's yes, yeah, it's not my one. <sighs> okay. So now I gotta build the leg joint. Or the, the thigh. Nice thing about Sun Gum Gumpla and Plano in general. It's like once you've built one or two specific joints, they all they all work together and like you, you know on your next kit how the leg is supposed to come together without necessarily looking at the instruction booklet. Like this joint I've built ten times at least. So it's it's 
What fun. Now I need... Oh, oh it's a... Uh... It's an actual heart part. That's really interesting. Instead of using the uh, joints, they're going with a plastic on plastic connection. And that's another thing that's really interesting to me. Oh, really? It doesn't. Really? I'd want this way, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dumb. That goes in there. Nice satisfying click, too. Okay, so that's the leg there. Now I've got to build this guy. I clipped it all the way through. I will grab the back now just because I can. But I do need some of the MS joints, so. Oh, hello. Can you lay down? Can you lay down, fan? Can you lay down, Fenrir? You just want some cuddle with your dad? Now what I'm going to do for this one, because it's not necessarily panels, but there is this is this one right here. Just make a little bit of a, a line in it. Draw that it's a little bit, like this one, this part is good, but I think this one needs a little bit in there because it is kind of a separate piece. You lay down? You lay go down go lay down bottom? 
Mr. Fenrir, can you lay down? Alright, my dog is being a beautiful bloodhead. Not a bloodhead, but he wants to see what Dad's doing. And he wants some snuggles. Is that right? You leave it alone, fan. Okay, now this guy gets put in like that. And then the back gets put on. Hey, how's it going? That gets put into there. That's, yeah, that was okay. Okay, so that's there. Hey, you, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here, buddy. You're just in the way, and Daddy can't look after you. Okay, can you go lay down on your bed? Sorry, my dog is getting to that point where he is starting to demand pets and love and attention like a good boy. You lay down, Fenrir? No, you, you want okay. I think I'm gonna build the foot and just take a quick break. Just so I can uh, get a little assistance with him. We'll build the foot first, and then I'll need, like, five minutes, if that. Okay. Yes. Yes, I know. I know, Bado. I know. I know. Everything is awesome. And you just want all the love and attention that Dad cannot give you right now. I know. You're so hard done by. Okay, so that's there. And we'll just clean all this up. Got your snuggles and now you're good? Okay, buddy. He's nearby. He'll be back. I know he will. He's a dog. They just want love. So. Yeah. How's this morning treating you? So far, this has been going very well. I'm really enjoying the the build on this guy. Okay. Other part of the leg together. Slice my fingernail open like a da dumb. I'll deal with that later. And a leg the foot here I'm really liking this the black panel lining on it kind of gives it a more anime-esque feel to it it has more of the like how it would be drawn if it was there because they usually use 
black lines to do all the things. Um, did I grab the wrong one? Oh no. Just looks square there. That goes on like that. And then these two go together. And the long one goes into that one. Well, the short one goes up into there. So there we have the completed foot. I didn't panel line those back things, but I don't think those will actually matter. Now we have that completed. And, oh, okay. No, I made a small mistake-ish. I didn't realize that this is where these one these stickers went. So I don't have to panel line them. These stickers are not very good. I'm not a fan of these stickers. Really stick that well. But it's it's gonna be okay. Just check did they actually get the race started yet? There, red flag did. It is not starting anytime soon. <sighs> okay. I don't mind the use of stickers, but I think these ones are just kind of bad. And more just in like they don't actually stick that well. They look fine, they just don't stick very well, so. But there we go, that's that leg done. No, not really, so it's going to have to look like that. And that's where we are. And then I will flip over the booklet to the much easier looking colored instructions. Okay, and I have the other stack there. Okay. Oh, coming together very nicely. I think after this, I just have the body, or the the leg, the hips, the tor the the oh god, basically the butt. <laughs> this is the best. My my brain is not is deciding it doesn't want to work today. So that's about the only words that I can come up with that actually have the, the proper annotation. And I 
think. Those are going to be the hip joints. We'll go from there. Okay. Grabbed a one, not a thirteen. Oh, that's what I get for Russian, which usually happens towards the end of a kit, but it'll be fine. I'll need that one later anyway. Oh yeah, I still have to make the uh, the side skirtings. They'll look pretty nice. Actually, I'm just going to chop this off right there because that won't matter. There's a little bit of a nub there. Okay. There we go. Now I'll pull out this guy. Here we go. That can get put in like so. And this guy gets put in like this. And then I'll pull out this guy. We'll pull out this guy because I will need him, but I just want to toss this away. So I'm going to put that guy right there. I can go right in there because I shan't be needing it anymore. Okay. And I've got this. Boom. Okay, now to make the make the hip joint. go
satisfying click. Yeah, now I make the leg armor. Thank you, Kalu, for the follow. I didn't see that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out these as well. Do them. Sticker mark. Okay. Very big, faster than light vibe on this sound, this song. It was a great game. Now I pull out number fourteen. And that gets put in like that. I'll just pan line up that V. some shading just a little bit of shading in there It'll look really nice okay so I think I don't know it's good Okay. Now I need worse. I need this guy. This is rubber injection molded. Put this together. And then panel line. Black. Okay. And just clean this up a little bit. Real shitty stickers on.
That would be good enough. goes in here and the short one goes in here and then that's what I've got for that and now I'm making the waste section. <sighs> okay. go now make this side do that and I make this side do that come together and they're equidistant. They're parallel. Now I take this guy. This, which is all going to be hidden. I can just snip it out without cleaning it up. And that goes in just like that. As you can see, it's real nice. That gets pushed into there. I pull out these little guys. Now, 
That's just a lighter shade. I don't think I really want to use those stickers because I kind of like the darker. I think I'm going to leave them this color. I kind of like them a little bit better this way. A little darker, but that's not bad. The memes are good. Yeah, they're not even starting the race anytime soon. Which I'm fine with. Okay, now. I take this one right here. it over no no it needs to go the other way there we go and now I need PC2 and PC3 Okay. Okay, now turn off these knobs. Should be able to rotate, shouldn't it? And I can put this one together. Does give it some side to side motion. That gets plugged in like that. That gets plugged in like that. That 
gets him like there. So now he stands. I just have to do the... I'm going to take off the tail just so you guys can see it better. one out too. Kind of clean it up as I go. Okay. Cheating on these ones. I'm okay with that. These are incredibly hard to clean up. They'll be fine. But I do have to clean up these so that it fits in. Nice and snugly. Not like that. But this one's looking really nice. Oh, that's ready. Almost done. I still have a lot. I still have a little bit of work left because I want to do paneling this before I finish it all off. I'm gonna get the black panel liner first. I'm doing black on these outlines to show the shadow for because these are the missile pods. They pass up, so I want to show that the shadow, like it's a deep shadow, instead of like the other ones, which are more of a. They're more of a lighter sort of transition just to show shadowing not necessarily to show like a dark recess
Okay. helps when you put it in the right spot but that's that's a manufacturer's opinion and then these placed on there I can reconnect the tail And here we go. Pleated Magnamon, which looks very nice. I'm extremely happy with it. I for a rel for an easier kit, I do have to say that this is probably one of the better ones that I've done. It, it's quite nice. It, I really like it. So that's going to do it for me for today. Um, and I will catch you probably next week on Tuesday. I will be streaming some World of Warcraft. Uh, check out the YouTube channel. I will put the VOD if you missed any of this and want to see it. And yeah, let's see if I can get better focus. Yeah, so there's there's the Magnamon. And I will see you guys. Uh, yeah, catch the VOD on YouTube. And I will see you guys later.